And he's clear at the top of the stretch. Manhattan Dan and Robbie Alvarado turning for home in front. They've got a two and a half length lead and they're 45 to one. It is still Manhattan Dan trying to gut out another furlong. Dressed in their maze has now moved up and outside. And Arrow Force is coming to. And so too is Birchwood. And so too is hit it a bomb. And hit it a bomb is getting up to win. The juvenile curve running down Arrow Force and Birchwood in the final. Toward the outside to third has to catch Lee coming off the far turn. Lee has the lead by three. Liam's map takes aim into the final furlong of the Las Vegas Dirt Mile. Liam's map just keeps striding forward and takes the lead from Lee. Redvine is third, but it's Liam's map and Javier Castellano to take it. Lee was home second. Redvine third and opening down toward the inside in fourth. Thrilled is fifth. Harmonizes in sixth in between horses off the turn. Sapphire Kitten comes forward. Alice Springs need room. Catch a glimpse has the lead. Ruby Notion drops back. Catch a glimpse leading it. And Sapphire Kitten trying. Alice Springs trying. Nemeralia running late from far back. Catch a glimpse with the lead. Nemeralia runs on from the outside. Catch a glimpse the leader. Catch a glimpse the winner for Florent Giroux. Close for second, maybe Alice Springs. If not her, it'll be Nemeralia for that runner-up spot. Charging Marie is right in at two, and then it's Carolina and sheer drama, and it is wide open at the top of the stretch of the vista. There's five horses across the track here. Stop Charging Maria and stellar win up from Jump Cup, and then it's Yahilwa. Sheer drama is trying to close in late. Stop Charging Maria, stellar win on the outside. These two will decide the vista. Stop Charging Maria, stellar win. Stop Charging Maria at one, and then it was stellar win second. And they were followed up the line by Carolina. For home with the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies in the clear. And then it's Rachel's Valentina, followed by Nickname on the outside. There's a furlong to run, and Songbird is going strong. Rachel's Valentina, Nickname at the Thraki Queen, no threat to an undefeated champion filly in Songbird. She did it with ease over Rachel's Valentina. And then came the Thraki Queen and Nickname. Much closer to the front than he was at this stage a year ago. Has to swing wide, though, off the turn. Six lengths off the lead. Mongolian Saturday has the lead. Here comes Lady Shipman on the outside. Ready for ride. Drops back third. Bobby's Kitten fourth. Green Mask is fifth. Mongolian Saturday with the lead. Chased by Lady Shipman. Green Mask and Bobby's Kitten. Mongolian Saturday trying to hang tough. Lady Shipman and Green Mask. Mongolian Saturday hangs on by a head and pulls the upset. Lady Shipman had to settle for second in one minute, three and two-fifth seconds. Verdad, who turns for home on the lead, and here's Stone Tastic right alongside of her. Terras is gone on the inside. Two lengths back. Mary Meadows trying to make a race of it. Wavell Avenue is there. Cavorting's got a lot of work to do. It is still La Verdad fighting them off. Here's Wavell Avenue down the center of the track, and she charges after La Verdad. Terras at the rail, but Wavell Avenue has won the Philly and Bear Sprint. La Verdad was second, and then came Terras, followed by Cavorting in a final time of 1 minute 22.39 now Legatissimo is changing lanes has to go to the outside here comes Sentiero Italia as well Stephanie's Kitten is still fifth here's photo call right alongside of Secret Gesture Stephanie's Kitten runs late toward the inside and finds an opening there and Legatissimo on the outside but Stephanie's Kitten bursting through an opening to the lead from Legatissimo Stephanie's Kitten and Irod Ortiz Jr. for America in the Breeders' Cup Philly and Mare Turf Legatissimo was second across the line in one minute, 56 and one fifth seconds. He's being ridden by Edgar Prado to go his private zone. Takes the lead at the top of the stretch after a 44 and one half mile. Private zone will come into the final furlong in front. On the outside run, Happy trying to close in with favorite tail. Holy Boss is back to fourth. Private zone reaching for the wire. Run Happy coming after him. These two will decide it. Private zone. Run Happy's got him. Run Happy has won the sprint. What a racehorse. Run Happy a 
over private zone. Left behind horses, no place to go right now. They're into the stretch. Teppen takes on, obviously. Teppen to the front. Teppen is now the leader as they race into the final furlong of the mile. Grand Arch is starting to put it a bit too. And on the outside is Mishawish. Make believe, waving through traffic, but look at Teppen. Teppen. Oh, she was huge today. Mondelez runs on late for second, but Teppen and Julia LaPeru have dominated. Riker, the leader, cocked and loaded. Nyquist tries to join them. Swipe out in the center of the track. Exaggerator back toward the inside. Nyquist keeps striding forward in the final furlong. He has taken the lead. Swipe moves up behind him toward the outside. Late run from Brody's cause, but still fifth. It's Nyquist with the lead. Nyquist in front, chased by Swipe. Nyquist to take it. Swipe was home second. Brody's cause rallied up for third on the outside. Exaggerator was home fourth. is there swinging wide off the far turn outside of red rifle golden horn and found go one two off the turn big blue kitten trying to rally down the far outside to catch golden horn found what a valiant effort from this filly she's got a head in front golden horn is second down to the line big blue kitten third found had been chasing golden horn found the best today from home and American Pharaoh is into the stretch at Keeneland in the Breeders' Cup Classic. A five length lead as he comes to the eighth pole. FNX second, Frosted far back in third. Totalist is in fourth. Into the final furlong. There will be a fourth jewel in the crown. He's an everlasting credit to the sport. American Pharaoh has belted a grand slam in the Breeders' Cup Classic. He wins it in two minutes flat.